We are Sorted, a group of mates who have your back when it comes to all things food. From cooking battles to gadget reviews Man, it's not worth it. and cookbook challenges to a midweek meal packs app. Crack your eggs, bake. We uncover the tools that'll help us all cook and eat smarter. Join our community where everything we do starts with you. And welcome to Sorted. Today we have a whole bunch of kitchen gadgets to review to see if they're worth a go or just for show. Today we have Jamie in the kitchen, he's our normal home cook and he's going to be giving us his honest thoughts on these gadgets. Ready for number one Jay? Always up for a little bit of gadge. Well what a good job this cloche is doing. <laughs> <laughs> Lift the cloche. <gasps> right, it's a T-square. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. This is the Gourmia Personal Tea and Coffee Brewer, beautifully designed with natural earthy elements and enhanced with modern automatic ease. Place your choice of loose tea leaf or ground coffee in the extra fine stainless steel strainer and tap the exclusive refresh icon to enliven the tea leaves for maximum flavour infusion. Honestly, if you put that on a worktop where you've got like a dishwasher or a washing machine or you live near a train line or something like that, <laughs> that you're going to be hearing that all night. So you're going to fill up the water reservoir, no more than the max line. In front of you, you've got some jasmine tea and some oolong tea. So let's do the oolong first. Mate, 50-50, just commit. All right, oolong first. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Now put your stainless steel strainer into the glass cabinet and click it into place. How square do we think this rectangle is? Whoa. Ooh. So to use loose tea, you need some sort of strainer and rather than a tea bag. And therefore, this is doing it all for you and it's automated. It's also boiling it for you, it's dropping it over and it's holding it in that chamber for the right amount of time. The refresh light has now gone out. If you could now discard what it spat out, what it has done is refreshed the leaves, hydrated them and got them ready for an infusion. Press the button that corresponds to your choice of strength, light, medium or strong. I'm going to say medium. Fine. While it's brewing, where would you use this? I've never had the problem of needing to refresh my tea leaves or drinking loose leaf tea. This isn't a problem that I've had. It's finished. Wonderful. It does smell good. It does smell really nice. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It is a tasty cup of tea. It's been relatively effortless. Temperature I see being a bit of an issue with this because I don't know much about teas, but I do know that different teas require different temperatures as well as brewing times to get the best results. So how does it know to get the perfect temperature for the perfect cup? So. Oolong, 85 degrees, that's probably about right. Green tea, maybe 65 to 85 degrees Celsius. Might be a bit hot, but you're right, it doesn't know. I think if you loved tea and you cared about tea, I'm not sure you would want a machine to take away some of that control from you. Okay, Jay, how much for this bit of kit? 60 pounds. Half that at 29 pounds. So it works, it does a job. I think the question is, do you want and or need a separate piece of kit to make a cup of tea for you. Oh, is no. it worth the infuse? Oh, they're back. Or will you refuse? I'm going to refuse. But if you love your tea and you know about making tea more than I do, comment down below, let us know. What do you think? Would you have this? Jamie, please turn around and lift the cloche. Good work. Number two. Ooh, why do you look confused? Is it a butter knife and a butter pot? Pot? Pot butter tray. It's a butter dish. Butter dish. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Butter Hub Butter Dish. A stylish butter dish with magnetic lid to hold a knife, extended feet to keep butter mess off the table, and easy scoop ramp. Now, <laughs> They've turned it into a skate park. <laughs> Butter doesn't need to go in the fridge. No. 
at room temperature, it will last in the pantry for a good week or two, it's fine. So that's what the butter dish does. The trouble is, every time you scrape your knife, you get butter on the sides, which means then when you take the lid off, there's butter on the bottom of the lid, and then you put it down on your tablecloth, and it leaves a butter ring. And nobody wants a butter ring on your tablecloth. This has got feet to solve that. God, you've made a problem out of that, haven't you? <laughs> and, <clears throat> having taken the lid off and put your butter ring on the table, you're then like, where's a knife? Where's a butter knife? It never belongs with the butter pot dish. So what about a magnetic lid? Ebers, I... Did you invent this or <laughs> invest in this? <laughs> There's now some butter in your butter dish and some bagels and some scones. Uh, lift, it, lift it up. So I've got feet on there so that the butter on my rim doesn't get on my tablecloth. You could just straight off the top. Look how wonderful and spreadable that is at room temperature because you've left it in a butter dish. Now obviously the other techers is that you slice the butter. And this is where I feel like the half pipe is going to come in useful. <laughs> This is more of a Jamie technique, isn't it, in terms of where you more, you bread your butter than butter the bread. Yeah. Mm. I'll be honest with you, I think it performed well. I hate myself, but I actually quite like it. I think that's taken the concept of a butter dish from being something that just looks nice to something that does an actual useful job. A reliable retailer ceramic butter dish, about £20. A brand like Le Creuset, £31 for a butter dish. You're paying for the brand, but... So how much is this, to you, revolutionary butter dish? To me, that's worth £10. This is an American product and is priced at $15.99 US dollars, which is currently, uh, today, £12.37. I would buy that butter dish, Barry. <laughs> Why am I buying a butter dish? Is it because the butter dish is that good or is it because you're that old? It's probably a mixture of both. <laughs> Jamie, is it worth the spread or not fit for bread? It's worth the spread. I'm going to buy one. Yes, what am I going to buy next? <laughs> Lift the cloche. Is it missing the rest of the saucepan? Any ideas? One lid, many pans? Yep, this is the Magic Fly Universal Lid. Do you still fret about all of your lids that are difficult to store in order? Our Universal Lid fits all, including frying pan skillet, cast iron saucepans, and instant pots. The answer to that question about do I still fret about saucepan lids is Yes. By your knees, there are three pans of three different sizes. There's a wok, a frying pan, and a small saucepan. It fits. Um, the only thing I'd say is the outer rim is catching slightly on the pan handle, so there's a little gap there, but it fits everywhere else. It does fit far better than my trying to put a plate trick on it, though. Option two, something like sticky rice, we use a fair bit in a lot of our meal packs recipes, good for midweek cooking. Small pan. We've got a measured amount of rice that's already been rinsed for you and a measured amount of water. You can give that a go. Does that one fit? Ish. That's a big ish. It's not secure. It's not, that's not going to seal the steam in. Again, it's catching on the handle. Better than nothing, not ideal. Yes. The third option is something like a wok, which invariably you don't have a lid big enough for. Doubles up as a steamer. So we've got some water in the bottom there heating up a steaming rack. Oh, Ebers, what are these? Cha Sui Cheng Fun. He's been shopping. The whole plate can sit in, and then hopefully the lid will fit and steam. While that steams, a couple of other things. Dishwasher proof, oven proof, up to 220 degrees Celsius and heat resistant. Fits an instant pot if you're on the saute function. So for example, the big clunky lid that you don't want to click into place, much easier. My excitement's been tempered slightly because it, it, it hasn't fitted in the way that I thought it would. And I think it's going to be different depending on which pans you've got. Guess it'd be better on pots with no handles. With no handles. Yeah. Storage, that goes straight into the pan cupboard. I don't, I don't see that as a, as a problem at all. Okay. Do you know what? It's doing a job, isn't it? It did a job. I'll get the dumplings out, but this also seems like a really good opportunity to review the uh, Rosanna Pancino cake spatula. Um, Ro, I'm not sure if this is 100% what you designed it for. It's 
really useful for just yeah. this. That's why I picked out. <laughs> Little drizzle of our seasoned soy and some crispy shallots. Multi-purpose. Well done, bro. Well steamed. That is delicious dumpling. Back to the matter in hand, the lid. It pretty much worked on the bigger pans. How much do you think? That's probably 20 pounds. That right there is 19 pounds 99. I'll give it to you, Jay. That's cheaper than I thought. <laughs> 20 quid, that solves a problem, I reckon. It's not a perfect fit on every pan and it will depend on which pans you have, but it does a far better job than trying to bodge it with something else. So the big question for you, Jay, a useful lid or not worth the 20 quid? It's a pretty useful lid. I'm not gonna be 100% definitive on it, but it's a pretty useful lid. You're having a good day so far. I am having a good day. Where's that butter tray? <laughs> okay, Jamie, last one. Oh, it doesn't fit. App. Ket oh, I hate it already. Oh, why? App kettle, because these things never work. This is the app kettle, Wi-Fi smart, internet app enabled, and voice controlled kettle. With app kettle, the technology lets you do so much more than just switch it on remotely. You can schedule your kettle to turn on at any time, day or night. So it's just bold for you when you get home. The temperature control mode lets you pick how hot you want your water. It does so much more than just boil water, JB. So this kettle is uh, controlled via an app. We have the app installed on a phone. We also have a home smart speaker as well. Everything you need to make a cup of tea. Alexa, fill the kettle up for me. Sorry, I'm not sure. So I don't have to be here. I could be anywhere in the world. Who's gonna fill up the kettle? So I can set my temperature of my water. So let's bring that up to, let's bring- Can I have 87 for the chai? Yes, you can, 87 degrees Celsius. It now recognises that there is 801 millilitres of water in there. That's 800 mil, good. 802 mil, let's see if this works. The kettle has turned on. It's, the water's now at 30, 31, 32 degrees. Oh. It's gonna take one minute and 50, Five seconds. You get a countdown. Get a countdown of how long it's going to take. How long to basically put your slippers on from the sofa to go into the kitchen so you know it's ready? If that's at 87 degrees Celsius. 87 that was degrees rapid. Celsius. Having got all the faff of the setup out of the way, that was really smooth to operate. It says it's still 87 degrees Celsius. So it holds it at that temperature saved me at least 20 seconds. Cup of chai. The kettle adds nothing to the taste, but it's delicious. We've refilled the kettle. Barry, what temperature would you like this kettle to boil your water to? Really hot, 99 degrees, please. Alexa, turn on kettle, 99 degrees Celsius. Okay. Alexa, Turn kettle off. What happened to my cup of tea? Heating cancelled. No tea for you. Safe to say it works then? That works. Do you need it? Not a single bit of me needs that. I'd have said the same about that speaker sitting in the corner of my room a few years ago. I got quite used to it. I like the company. Oh dear. <laughs> How much do you reckon that is? Uh, is it a hundred pounds? Pretty much, £91.66. Okay, looks wise, it does not look as premium as a high-end quality branded kettle. It ha it's packed full of technology that does work. And I think actually it comes down to whether you feel like you need that level of technology in your kettle to boil water. I know you're a dad, but you're beginning to sound a bit like my parents. I don't need one of those with a whizzy app because I've got the old fashioned version. Jamie, I'm being schooled by Ebbers. Jamie, you're it, using that's tech. shocking work. Jay, I'm going to ask the question is it worth the brew or not for you? It works. 
You've said that a thousand times. I know, but that it works, and I'm impressed that it works. It's just not for me. The question is, is it for you? Comment down below. We've reviewed four gadgets today. Tell us what you think of them. And if you have any other cool or useless gadgets that you want us to give a go, then let us know on Twitter. I just want to... It works. Okay. We but, get that. Man. But, but get the, the, the point, the reason I'm saying that is because so many of the times these don't work, but this works. But even though it does work, I'm not Fade sure that it works for me. I don't... Nobody cares. <laughs>